The film begins with a young lady named Sarah working for Mrs. Van Hopper during their holiday in Monte Carlo. Sarah appears busy catering to all of Mrs. Van Hopper's needs at the hotel. At lunchtime, Mrs. Van Hopper asks Sarah to reserve a spot close to a handsome and wealthy Englishman, Max and De Winter, who recently lost his wife. Sarah goes to the restaurant and requests the waiter to arrange a special table for her employer and Max and De Winter. However, the waiter informs her that guests can choose their own seats. Despite this, Sarah tries to offer the waiter some money to persuade him. However, she is so nervous that she drops her wallet and the money falls out. A gentleman helps her gather the money and assures her that she doesn't need to bribe the waiter. When the waiter calls out the man's name, Sarah realizes that he is Maxim de Winter. Shortly afterward, Mrs. Van Hopper joins Maxim at his table, and they have lunch together. The following day, Mrs. Van Hopper suddenly fell ill and had to stay in bed. When Sarah and Maxim were getting ready to have breakfast at the restaurant, a waitress informed Sarah that she couldn't dine there without her boss. Maxim noticed this and invited Sarah to join him for breakfast. They had a lengthy conversation until it was time for Sarah to return to Mrs. Van Hopper. Later on, Sarah discovered a note from Maxim inviting her for a stroll around the hotel, since Mrs. Van Hopper was still unwell. Sarah agreed to the invitation. They spent a great deal of time together each day, and their feelings for one another grew stronger. However, Mrs. Van Hopper noticed the close bond between Sarah and Maxim, which made her feel envious and upset. She decided to leave Monte Carlo promptly and bring Sarah back to New York to keep her away from Maxim. The following day, Sarah rushed to Maxim's room to bid farewell as she was going back to New York. Instead of allowing her to leave, Maxim invited her to accompany him to England. Sarah was puzzled and thought Maxim might offer her a job as an assistant. However, Maxim clarified that he wanted her to come to his house as his wife because he planned to marry her and return to England. They then visited Mrs. Van Hopper to announce their intention to marry soon. Mrs. Van Hopper appeared pleased and supportive of their wedding plans in front of Maxim. However, once Maxim departed, she began saying unkind things to Sarah. Long story short, Sarah is now married to Maxim de Winter and goes by the name Mrs. de Winter. They arrived at Manderley, Maxim's grand English mansion, where they were greeted by the servants and the housekeeper, Mrs. Danders. Maxim introduced Sarah to his manager, Frank. Then Mrs. Standers gave Sarah a tour of Manderley, showing her various rooms and a painting of a woman identified as Maxim's aunt. As Sarah explored the house, she was impressed by her new home and hadn't realized she would become the wife of such a magnificent homeowner. With her own assistant and servants to attend to her needs, she felt very privileged. As deeply in love newlyweds, Maxim and Sarah often hugged, shared close moments, and enjoyed their happiness. One night, Sarah asked about Rebecca, Maxim's late wife but Maxim avoided the topic. Later, Sarah discovered Maxim sleepwalking, but Mrs. Danders intervened and instructed her not to disturb him. The next morning at breakfast, Sarah told her husband about his sleepwalking from the night before. But Maxim didn't respond and hurried off to an important meeting. Later, Sarah went into a room she later learned was Rebecca's. There she found Rebecca's things neatly arranged. While touching them, Sarah accidentally broke a ceramic display. Concerned, she hid the broken pieces in a drawer to avoid getting in trouble. That evening, while brushing her hair, Sarah saw that the comb she was using had the initials R on it, showing it belonged to Rebecca. One day, while taking a walk with her husband and her pet dog, Sarah had to run after the dog when it suddenly ran off towards the lighthouse. There she met the lighthouse keeper who told her about Rebecca's drowning. When Sarah asked Maxim about Rebecca's death, he once again avoided the subject and refused to talk about his ex-wife. Soon after, Maxim's grandmother and older sister came to visit, and Sarah got to know them. During their conversation, Maxim's grandmother, who seemed forgetful, acted a little rudely towards Sarah. Maxim's sister then apologized for her grandmother's behavior, explaining that Rebecca and their grandmother had been very close in the past. It was evident that Maxim's sister admired Rebecca, suggesting she was charming and well-liked, which made Sarah feel inadequate. Later, Sarah comes into the house and is surprised to see Maxim scolding a servant for moving the ceramic display from Rebecca's room. Maxim even threatens to fire the servant without hesitation. Not wanting others to be blamed for her actions, Sarah admits to Maxim that she accidentally broke the ceramic display in Rebecca's room and hid it in a drawer. Upon hearing this, Maxim becomes very angry with his wife and abruptly leaves her. Sarah feels devastated when her husband leaves her so suddenly. She thinks she is stuck in Rebecca's shadow because everyone admires her, 
and suspects that Maxim may still deeply love Rebecca and hasn't been able to forget his late wife. The next day, Sarah asks Frank about Rebecca, and he tells her that Rebecca died in a boating accident. Her body was found two months later. When Sarah asks about Rebecca's beauty, Frank honestly admits that Rebecca was the most beautiful person he had ever met. After hearing Mrs. Dandra's words, Sarah's confidence dropped, and she felt inadequate as the new Mrs. De Winter, taking over from Rebecca. Feeling desperate, she went into Rebecca's room, where she met Mrs. Danvers. Mrs. Danvers implied to her that she could never replace Rebecca as Mrs. De Winter, and hinted that Maxim still loved Rebecca deeply and couldn't forget her. The next day, Sarah met a man named Jack Favell, who turned out to be Rebecca's cousin and allegedly came to Manderley because of Mrs. Danvers' influence. Jack kindly offered to teach Sarah horseback riding. Later, he asked her to keep his visit to Manderley a secret from Maxim. Sarah then asked Mrs. Danvers why she invited Jack, knowing Maxim didn't like him. However, Mrs. Danvers avoided the question and denied any involvement in Jack's visit to Manderley. In short, when Maxim found out that Jack had visited Manderley and spent time with his wife, he became very angry. This led to a big argument between Maxim and Sarah, even though Sarah tried to explain that Mrs. Danvers had invited Jack. Sarah later confronted Mrs. Danvers, accusing her of plotting against her by inviting Jack and demanded her resignation. However, Mrs. Danvers denied the accusation, convincing Sarah to let go of the matter and not dismiss her. Eventually, Maxim apologized to Sarah, and their relationship gradually improved. Sarah's relationship with Mrs. Danvers also got better, and they started working together smoothly, organizing the Manderley costume ball. Mrs. Danvers suggested that Sarah dress like Maxim's aunt, whose portrait hangs at the top of the stairs. Sarah agreed immediately. On the night of the party, Sarah dressed up eagerly, hoping to impress Maxim and the other guests. However, things took an unexpected turn for Sarah. When she wears the dress and goes to the party, the guests are shocked, and Maxim is furious. Sarah learns that Rebecca wore the same dress the previous year. Feeling tricked by Mrs. Danvers and thinking that Maxim regrets their marriage now, Sarah runs away. Mrs. Danvers shows her dislike for the new Mrs. De Winter, fearing she'll take Rebecca's place. Mrs. Danvers even tries to convince Sarah to jump from the window to her death. Luckily, a nearby shipwreck, brought by the storm, interrupts her plan. The ship turns out to be Rebecca's, with her decayed body on board. The discovery of the wreck and Rebecca's body reopens the investigation into her death. If the body found is Rebecca's, then whose body did Maxim bury at Rebecca's funeral? Sarah tries to ask her husband, but Maxim admits that he doesn't know either. He reveals that his marriage to Rebecca was a lie, and he always hated her. Maxim describes Rebecca as mean, selfish, unfaithful, and manipulative. On the night of her death, Rebecca admitted to Maxim that she was carrying another man's child, intending to pass it off as Maxim's. She pushed the trigger of Maxim's gun to her chest, insisting the only way out was for him to kill her. Furious, Maxim shot her and disposed of her body by placing it in a boat and sinking it. Despite this confession, Sarah feels relieved knowing Maxim truly loves her and decides to support him during the investigation. During the trial, it emerged that Rebecca's boat was deliberately sunk, making Maxim a suspect. Jack Favell tries to blackmail Maxim with evidence, suggesting Rebecca didn't plan to commit suicide. The next day, Mrs. Tandrews testified that Rebecca had visited a London obstetrician before her death, suggesting her pregnancy. Additionally, Mrs. Tandrews claimed Maxim bribed Jack for a note from Rebecca. The prosecutor presented a check given to Jack Favell as evidence of the bribe, leading to Maxim's temporary arrest. At Manderley, Mrs. Danvers confided in Sarah that Rebecca disliked all the men in her life. Sarah then sends Danvers away and starts searching for the obstetrician Rebecca visited in London. With Frank's help, Sarah finally finds the doctor's address and quickly travels to London to meet him. Meanwhile, the investigation team also visits the doctor to gather information about Rebecca. The doctor reveals that Rebecca couldn't have children due to advanced uterine cancer and had only a few months left to live. After further investigation, the team concludes that Rebecca took her own life by sinking her boat, while Sarah privately believes Rebecca provoked Maxim into killing her. Maxim de Winter is eventually cleared of all charges. Upon returning to Manderley, they find the house on fire. A servant tells them that Mrs. Danvers started the fire before fleeing. Sarah rushes to the cliff and finds Mrs. Danvers dangerously close to the edge. Despite Sarah's pleas, Mrs. Danvers curses her and jumps into the sea, ultimately drowning. Years later, Sarah wakes up from a dream, finding herself with her husband and Carol as they search for their dream home. 
Reflecting on her past, she expresses that from the ruins of Manderley, she salvaged the only thing truly valuable which is love. The movie shows how Rebecca's presence continues to affect people, even after her death. Rebecca is portrayed as stunningly beautiful and universally admired. However, she is revealed to be cruel and manipulative, controlling those around her, including Maxim, who never found happiness in their marriage. After Rebecca's death, Maxim meets a young woman with a kind heart and warm personality, completely different from his former wife. He falls deeply in love with her. So the moral of the story is don't let someone else's shadow dim your light. Embrace who you are and the love you deserve, even if it means confronting ghosts from the past.